I placed the reigning 3-4 to 1. I quickly found the most resistant and penalty laden horse in 1 to sort to the bottom, and from there, it's the small differences that sort my closer initial trio. I opted for the horse ridden in the Hackamore over 4, as he spun faster and with a lower center of gravity and a more stationary pivot foot. To complement this, 3 looked through the bridle with the most positive expression throughout the class and was snappier in his rollbacks. Now here's another steady performer who works off a more trusting length of rein in 4. However, he's too slow in his spins and short in his sliding stops to compete with my class winner. Bringing your attention to a closer intermediate pair who differ in their advantages, I preferred the more consistent 4 over 2. The sorrel was more willfully guided in the circles, was quieter about his mouth and less resistant in the rollbacks. Now I can see how some may prefer the faster, more stylish spins and snappier rollbacks of two, but for me, the black falls into third today as he's simply too mouthy, elevated, and resistant in all of his stops and rollbacks. Despite this, it's still easily two over one in my concluding duo as two performs the more correct and penalty-free pattern. Two maintains a lower, more rounded frame and stops square out of his spins. And he has a smoother, cleaner lead changes while requiring less aid in cueing from the rider throughout the circles. Finding no obvious grants for one, I have no choice but to leave the remaining sorrel fourth today as he is not only rough in his changes and requires the most handling, but he also receives a one point penalty for being out of lead and a five point penalty for two handing. Thank you.